Hey beautiful people, I hope you are keeping safe and well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who I haven't met before, I'm Emma Ride, a psychic medium and divine channeler and this is a Libra reading. Please bear in mind that all of my readings are timeless and you will find the guidance that is right for you when you need to hear it, whether that is today, next week, next month. Trust in divine timing. Okay, so for this reading we're going to use the Troubadour Tarot and then when we move on to the extended reading we're going to use the Lightseer Tarot and some other Oracle cards. Okay, Libra. What do you need to know this week? Let's have a look and see. I want to say take a deep breath. It's going to be fine. I feel like there's a lot of mixed emotions. There's a bit of manicness and stress going on with you. It's like you, I feel like you can't think straight. You're struggling to think straight. Not only struggling to think straight, struggling to figure out your true feelings. Okay, so take that deep breath, take a step back and give yourself some time. It's okay to take a little bit of time. It's okay to take a breather. It's more than okay. It's actually necessary. Okay, so first card out is the Seven of Steeds. Oh. Okay, so there's an element of you feeling like you're doing a lot on your own. There's an element of, I feel like you feel like you're fighting a losing battle. Because it feels like you are sort of not getting any further in life, but it feels like you put a lot of effort in. It feels like you try, but why is everything not feeling easier? There's just this element of everything feeling hard. And not having the support you necessarily need or not allowing yourself to be supported like you should. And then we have the Ten of Steeds. So you're spending a lot of time looking backwards. You're like spending a lot of time looking forwards. But what about the now? What about creating what you want now? It feels like you're a bit disconnected to your future because you're feeling a little bit disconnected and lost in the now. And you, there's an element of you needing to break free from something in the past because it feels like it's pulling your energy down. It feels like it's hard work, but there's an element of you scared or fearful of letting go of it because what if I let go and I've made the wrong decision? Trust your heart. This is why you are fighting with yourself because you know it's the right thing to do. You know they're not the best person in the world for you. You know it's not doing you any good. You know it's pulling your energy down. It's time to let go. It's time to listen to your heart and stop arguing with yourself so much. And then we've got the frustration card. And the first word that comes when I look at that card is stubbornness. It's like you are, maybe you're not being stubborn, but maybe what you're trying to let go won't go with ease. And that frustrates you because you just want it to be easier. But what I will say to you is, you are strong enough to let go of whatever it is, whoever it is, in the past which is holding you back and that might just be the energies of the past i feel some of you it's physically but some of you i feel it's just the energies of the past and the mindset and the beliefs they have left you with but you can overcome this you will overcome this If you stand strong, the past will have no option but to allow you to let go. They'll have no option but to let go. Then we've got the seven of quills. I want to say it's safe to let go. 
it is safe to let go of the past. Yes, your past may be your comfort zone in some ways, but holding on to that is not creating any space for better things to come in the future. You're holding on to the struggle. You're holding on to that internal fight. You're holding on to the hard work and not moving forwards. It's time to let go of the past. It's time to make space for what you actually want in your life because you deserve so much better. You deserve more happiness. You deserve love. You deserve an abundant, happy, content, joy feeling. The past situation is blocking that coming into your life. That is why you're feeling so frustrated, so stuck, so tired with continually fighting, continually struggling. Let go of the struggle, let go of the past. Then we've got the Four of Cups. As soon as you make space, I feel like this is you, okay? Feeling a bit glum, feeling very down. But as soon as you make space, that love will be offered to you. The happiness, the opportunities, what you are wanting in your life are there and waiting when you make space. You have to create the space. You can't have the past and the now. You haven't got enough space. And the past is holding you back. The past is pulling you down. The past isn't good for you and you know that. You need to stop that internal struggle and trust your heart. It is safe to let it go. It is safe to release. So you can enjoy more of the now. And create your happy future. But there is that reaching out. Okay, beautiful people. I'm going to head over to the extended reading now because I really do want to find out more about this love which is reaching out to you and more opportunities is what's coming in the future. If this is where you leave me, then thank you so very much for joining me. Please do like and comment on the video if you feel drawn. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I truly do appreciate each and every single person supporting the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please do take care, stay safe and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Namaste. Bye.